explain uh, a point of view of a tradition with, with words which are belonging to other traditions. For, for the reader, we don't know, because we take it for granted. But at the end, after years and years and years of reading, you're very confused. There are some lineages which are taking a particular behavior as a very good tool for shifting from duality to non-duality. And some other tradition are saying that this rule is poison. This, uh, method. this method is poison. You should never use it. So, most of the time, in each tradition, things are very, very clear. But what we mostly do today, and, and translators are doing, and commenters, commentators are, are also doing that, they are taking certain meaning, certain meanings of one tradition, they are using it in another tradition. So for the reader, with, let's say, that's called beginning. It takes it for granted. That's okay. But when you go to another book, and then to a third, and to a fourth, and to a fifth, and if you're really interested, after some time you say, well, something, something strange into this. What is really, what does it, what is it really? Because one is saying this, the other one is saying that. And we have this difficulty regarding the Indian culture. Uh, the Indian culture, you know, whatever is said in India is true, but the opposite is also true. So for us, it's very difficult. But Indian, they don't have that kind of difficulty. First of all, it is their culture, they know how to manage. Uh, they are not free of the conflict, no? They're just like uh, everyone else in the culture. But they know how to manage. And they know that using, for example, the word Bayra in such a context has that meaning and the same word in that other context has another meaning. And uh, another thing is this, we could almost say, civilization has started written text. Scholars think 4,000, 5,000 years ago. Before writing, we don't know how many thousands of years went on with horror tradition only. So it's a huge thing. It's really, really what we call Hinduism is, is, is it's amazing how big it is. And we should not forget that there is also a history in India, that is people fighting, invaders, uh, different, we could always say religions trying to have power upon other religion when invaders came. Not to forget that what we call India today, physically, in the geography, is only 60 years. It's, it's a long, long, long story. So, it is difficult because when you go into one tradition, you will always find the same terms, the same words, which are used in another tradition with another meaning. And that really, that is really difficult. <clears throat> it is, for me, it is one of the reasons I try to not refer to Sanskrit as less as possible. Because I, I, I discover it, it brings confusion. It doesn't help much. Unless you go 
studying Sanskrit for years and years and years, and then you can read in the text. But uh, translating is really difficult. Uh, there is a, a saying which says that every translator is a betrayer. Traduttore, traduttore. But we have to. It was the last uh, question. It was the last question. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's say it was very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I have, that I have a lot of uh, things to do because uh, I told you last in the last our last talk that uh, complexity science is not very close to science, it's more close to you at all. And uh, it's also uh, a big challenge to start from uh, linear to non-linear, for quality to unicity. It's the same, uh, quantum physics has the same um, need in a way, and uh, try to find out the and to act as a filter in the semantical area just to be capable to create a very good connection between the symbol and the meaning and the profound meaning. So we have a lot of things to put together because without that I believe that we are in a mess of words, a mess of passion and uh, a lot of teachers that teach us a lot of things that uh, has no meaning. So we are here a team that we are very involved in this kind of filtering the words that uh, are scientific. Uh, just to create uh, um, something that it's very useful to understand our, our, ourselves and our, our outside in a sort of non-duality. And mm -hmm. this is a, a goal of complexity science. And we need some tools to be aware and to make some signals that we are now in a very uh, fuzzy way. So I believe that this um, interaction between us will be very, very interesting. And I want to ask you if it's possible, because I intend to reveal a little bit our camp. We have a summer camp, uh, let's say, towards the 26th edition this year. Uh, it's an international one, and I intend to mo uh, modify this camp and move in a, in a way in the summer, in, a, in a near Bucic Mountain, it's a very nice area. And if it's possible to create uh, the same, in the same time two branches to put together and to verify and to discuss and to create a sort of, um, let's say, workshop between uh, this kind of new science that is not science, I don't like the term science, I mean, oh, the science is a level that it's not really outside the science, the science, the modern science has not the meaning of describing this kind of uh, uh, linkage between cause and uh, effects or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, even if it's a need, because in a way you helped me today, I shall remember it all because we have the movie here and I shall recover a little bit. And I try to create some examples from some, for our competitive science to verify if we can find that joy point, because it's very important. If we can do that, so I can explain to a lot of people how to arrive there, because they are more close to the terms of science. And so I can be that uh, without that I have no reparation, so it's useful for us to act together, and it's my need in a way. Oh, thank you. What I like in, in complexity it is that it welcomes simplicity. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, simplicity can be something trivial, or yeah, something sim simplicity right. can be essence. Uh -huh. And we have a very important uh, sculpture, uh, it's Brinkhush, uh, it's already a Brinkhush, it's already... It's already known, an international one, and he has a very interesting saying, that said, uh, simplicity is a co uh, solved complexity. I like it. So I cannot uh, simplify and share simplicity, because it's... We need to rise the mind to the level of essence that is simple after that. So it's a very distinct um, uh, how is it, quest to another uh, consciousness point in which you can feel what we are doing and what we are saying. And that it's not simple at all. Yeah. <laughs> so the words has a very interesting meaning that we need to be aware about the semantic aura around the word. So we need to arrange a bit, and we have some methods for that.
So it's very interesting this method. We have semantic compressor in a, in a, in a, a sort of mathematics semantic compressor. compressor. So I'll give you a book and I can create in a very interesting case things that uh, synthesize all that book. So not words, meanings. So the science has some, but nobody cares about it because it, you need to work hard. Like your, in your work, you need to be involved in. And the people learn so, such a low level of, of knowledge that are not knowledge, are information, not, not systematized. It's only a sort of very thin layer. They cannot judge, even within science. So they are not scientists, they are not uh, believers or uh, the people that uh, feel the reality, they are in between. Uh, so we need in a way to understand this reality and to help this reality to the level that it is. That is reality. Let's find the solution from this point. And one of that is to make order in the words. Because the words have a, such a, it was, was used in Romania, we have a, uh, two words, borbire and rostire, to talk and uh, to talk with some uh, reasons, some uh, essence. You know, rostire is kurost or something. We need to understand what that is mean. So we have very distinct and very easy trainings just to be aware about the words, first to prepare to be near you. Without that, it's, it's, a lot of questions like that can arise. It's normal, but it's not in the tema. The, uh, uh, outside the hammer. So we need to make a preparation for the people to be keen in this area. And we have some methodology, methodology to do that. So I want to share because I believe that it's useful. Of course. It's useful to prepare the people to perceive the, the profoundness of this um, and the necessity of this, um, let's say, way in the reality. So what is your... I, this, I, be, I want to do it in uh, some way in August. If you can imagine to preserve two weeks for this camp, I will invite you. It's a pleasure to, to be together because in July I have some experience to organize this kind of camps. And I can create for the first time, it's my dream, to put together a, a, something that came from the science and something that came from the oriental part of the, our reality, not the, like you said, the localized to countries. Two thoughts. One is Deterministic, or it's uh, the idea of uh, having a, the trend of fragmentation, but understanding what a fractal means, and understanding the essence of a fractal means that you can fragment it, but you can understand because of that some essence of that. That is a law of a fractal. So you need to have a little bit this kind of trainings before understanding how to let away the idea of perceiving differences. That's generally conflict because, because a lot of people want to do that, but you, you need to, 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 to train yourself in a very, very easy way to understand the direction in a way after that you can do it yourself by self training, self observation. And that would be in English? Uh, we can do it in English, of course. We can do it in English. We can do it in, two, in both languages because it's interesting in English and in, in this case in Romania because we can find the difference because, uh, as you said, I find out that the languages are a very important, the language itself acts like a filter in this kind of perceiving the very profound. If there are some languages like English and the German languages in general, they are very precise. The other languages are very contextual. Some Romanian is in between, and it's interesting because of that. I can move to a parabola or a very precise, very easy. That's why we are in the middle between East and West. So we are, we are in between the this kind of uh, approaches, in a way. We, in, uh, in my parable, I told you, uh, if I look to the globe, uh, to the, the uh, Earth, like a uh, whole system, living system, this part is uh, very close to the holistic approach, it's more close to the right part of the hemisphere, and uh, the occident part is dedicated to something else, it's very close to the left part of the brain. But we are called colossal, no, we are between. So our task in Romania is not to become a uh, NASA or to become a Thai lab. It's to put that together. To uh, yes, yes, in a way to, 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 to fulfill our, our, our task. <laughs> because we, have, we are trained by the nature in this uh, position. You know, we are very sensitive to both of them. Because if I go to discuss this talk in NASA, I went there, 
nobody cares about. And if I want to discuss about the fractal, perhaps in the India, perhaps they don't need it. So here it's interesting because between, in between we can create another way of teaching. So let's be between. Let's uh, in, in, you know, try to find a solution for that. I have a, we have a three weeks silence seminar. Yeah. In August. Let's let's verify and we'll say nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you.